God, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one. Woo! <laughs> oh man, we've been outside all day long. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Oh my god. Why are you doing this? All right. Did you click on the video for that? All right, seriously. I know you guys clicked on the video because it says something like, I don't know how much title this thing. I'm probably just going to say something like, how many $30 RPMs on YouTube for years or something like that. But in all honesty, it's true. And oh my God, we, we, we've been like, it's, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. And there's a reason why I have my shirt halfway on. And my eyes have were closed, but we're not going to get into that right now. But I do want to be honest with you guys. Um, I started YouTube many years ago. It's probably about four years ago. And I got a lot of different channels. I know this channel is kind of new. You're probably looking at it like, what is this guy talking about? Like, how did you start it years ago? And this channel is like eight months old or something. But anyway, uh, in all honesty, <clears throat> I started a YouTube channel back in like 2019 I think it was like December-ish. And this was after starting some other YouTube channels. What's up, dude? Sorry. Nah, you good. <laughs> I know you ain't drinking that Coke upstairs. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just, just making sure. No, not, not Thank you for putting the coaster down. <laughs> so I started a YouTube channel like back in 2019. I want to say it was like November-ish, maybe December. And... If you guys are familiar with it, you'll know exactly which one I'm talking about. I got a lot of them. But I actually started this channel after creating some other channels that kind of, I won't say they failed, but they didn't really take off. And the reason they didn't take off for, was for a number of different reasons, including telling everyone and their mom, hey, I'm starting a new YouTube channel. And it made it harder to make a YouTube channel because everyone and their mom's looking at you like make shitty videos. And so uh, that was like one of the things in my course that I recommend you guys not do. Don't make new YouTube channels and tell everyone to watch them because they're going to suck and it's probably going to affect your ability to create content. So uh, step one, don't do that. Um, <clears throat> but when I started this channel, uh, I told no one. And this was after creating other channels and telling everyone. And what I found is that when you don't think anybody's watching, you can be yourself a little bit more and uh, it makes it just a lot easier to make content. And, you know, the thing is, is like you can kind of connect a little bit better and you can be you can make mistakes and be yourself and not worry about who's critiquing or thinking about what you're making. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, if we fast forward to, to, to today, it's like four years since then. And YouTube has actually made it a lot easier to make money. Um, as a content creator, because they have actually, believe it or not, reduced the criteria to become monetized and to uh, monetize your channel. And at this point, at the time of this recording, all you need is 500 subscribers and 3,000 hours of watch time. Now, back in 2019, when I started my channel, <clears throat> let me put this shirt on because I'm just kind of like looking silly here. Um, <clears throat> back in 2019, you needed 1,000 subscribers and uh, 4,000 hours of watch time. So it's actually way easier to start a YouTube channel today and actually get paid from the YouTube Partner Program uh, than it was four years ago. And usually that's not the case. Usually they make it harder to get the money. But no, YouTube realizes, hey, we don't make money if they don't make money. So the more money you make, the more money they make. It's totally different than, you know, your traditional nine to five job where your boss probably, your boss and your management team probably looks at you as an expense. So YouTube knows that for every dollar, for every uh, 55 cents they're paying out to you, they know they're making 45 cents. So they want to pay you as much as possible because they know that they're getting a percentage of how much you're earning. Now, <clears throat> if we go past that, I remember um, when I started that channel, uh, you know, I remember the first time I had hit like 500, no, I hit 400 subscribers. And then I realized how to really communicate with my audience. And once I did, that was the real game changer. You got to deliver what your audience wants and you got to communicate 
to your audience. You got to really talk to the folks. You got to talk to the people out there and more people who are resonating with that content, they're going to find you. So anyway, uh, I remember hitting like a thousand subscribers and it was just the most amazing feeling in the world. I was like, just, I was just ecstatic. And this was a channel that I told no one about. Meanwhile, the channel that I told everyone about, it really didn't grow. And again, it goes back to not being able to connect to the audience because I was so worried about what everyone was saying or thinking about the content that I was making, who I might be offending, yada, yada, yada. Now, once I hit 4,000 hours of watch time, that is when the game changed. I ended up getting an email. I got some some type of notification from the YouTube partner program. And they basically said, hey, you know, welcome to the YouTube. Uh, actually, no. They said, hey, you can now apply for the um, to for the YouTube partner program to get monetized. And it said something like, you know, hey, we'll get back to you within the next 30 days, 45 days, 90 days, whatever it was. It was it was it was at least 30 days. And I remember they ended up getting back with me and they approved my account to be monetized with the YouTube partner program within like three days. So I was like super excited because I was, I was thinking it was going to be at least a month. So the channel got monetized and I just kept doing my thing, kept recording videos, talking about, you know, um, <clears throat> what was interesting to my audience. And I remember, you know, hitting, you know, a thousand subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers. It was wild. It was a really wild time. And, you know, um, I remember hitting 30,000 subscribers on the channel, which was just madness. Uh, the rate that the channel was growing was just unreal. It was just like just a viral growth rate. It was parabolic. And I remember talking to my brother and he was like, hey, you know, when you hit 50,000 subscribers, we need to do like, like, like you should do a giveaway by the time you hit 50,000 subscribers. So we were talking about it for a couple of days. And by the time we kind of put an idea together, um, I had already hit 50,000 subscribers. It was like 50 something. So I was like, crap, we need to revamp this thing. And But the growth of the channel was just unreal. But the simple fact of the matter at the end of the day is if you want to make money on YouTube, the opportunities are still here. Some people say, oh, it's too late to start a YouTube channel in 2023 or 2024 or 2025, whenever you happen to watch this video. But I want you guys to understand that the opportunities will always be here. And it really doesn't matter when you start whatever you're interested in doing. I remember back in like 2017, 2019, people were telling me, oh, Amazon FBA doesn't make money anymore. And it was complete bull. It really depends on who you talk to. And if you surround yourself with losers who tell you that the opportunities are completely gone, then well, they will be gone. But if you hang out with the winners who are constantly reinventing themselves and um, you know, not staying stagnant in what they were doing when it was working, um, they will continue to um, basically evolve over time and get better. So <clears throat> It's a business at the end of the day. And if you look at any business, if you look at anything that makes you money as a business and you constantly look to evolve, you will continue to grow and you will likely be among the top 1% of income earners in your industry. So keep educating yourself, keep reaching and striving for greatness and get that money, y'all.